let's talk about Mixer and how it can draw signal to multiple destinations. Mixer opens below the track area if you press X, or you can use Command 2 keys to open as a separate window. You can move this floating window to your second display if you have one. Logic Pro lets you customize the Mixer view. For this video, I will add VCA option and groups. You can disable some of the features that you don't need to make your Mixer view look cleaner. If you have more tracks than your screen can fit, scroll your mouse to see other tracks. Or you can disable all your instrument tracks to view only audio. You can do the opposite too. If you click on the key display, channel key will be inserted in audio effects. Click on gain reduction indicator to insert compressor. Below you can see panning knob. You can switch between different modes, for example binaural pan. If you're not familiar with this kind of pan, you can check out binaural pan video on my channel. Up here you can switch between mono and stereo. Now if you go back to pan, we can activate stereo panning. Use option click to reset any parameter. Channel strip settings are specific to each channel strip type. On this audio track we can skip through pre-made audio effects chains. As you can see this chain is called clean room, which includes compressor and reverb. You can save and recall your own chains if you want to. Now let's talk about signal routing. If you look down here you can see that all our tracks are fed straight to the stereo output. When you create a new instrument track or audio track, by default Logic Pro sends it to the stereo output, which then goes to your interface and to your speakers or headphones. By creating a send you split the channel strip signal. The channel strip's main signal continues to go to the stereo output, but the other part of the signal is routed down a parallel path. Or you can send your audio to a bus first, and then to the stereo output. Now let's see how it works in Logic Pro Mixer. Here we can see that this track goes straight to the stereo output. Now let's switch to a bus. Now we see that it goes to the bus first, and then this bus goes to the stereo output. This can be a little confusing at first, but those concepts will make your mixing more efficient. Now let's see how we can use that. Here in sense slot, we can route this track to any bus. If you're working with multiple buses, it will be a good idea to rename them so you can navigate easily. Here you can pick any output and rename it. I'm going to be using Reverb A and Reverb B names, so I can tell the difference between them. If I go to Sense again, I can easily find what I want. Now let's find those two buses. They'll be named as AUX1 and AUX2, and we can insert two different kinds of reverbs, so we can compare them. As I mentioned before, this way we can mix our original signal that goes straight to the stereo output with the effects inserted in our buses. In this case, those are reverbs. I'm going to be using faders to control sense. This way it's much easier than using the knob. This way we can balance between original audio and the effect. Let's compare it to audio sent straight to the bus. As you can hear, the clap goes 100% through the effect we inserted on the bus. You can bypass your sense as you would do with your plugins. Now let's talk about VCA faders. This function lets you control multiple channels using one fader. All you need to do is to assign multiple channels to the same VCA. After you've done that, you can control volume of those tracks with a single fader. In some cases you would want to use VCA instead of summing tracks together. If you set it up correctly, you can control drums, chords, voices and other groups only with 4 or 5 faders. Now let's talk about groups. The Mixer Groups feature is only available when Show Advanced Tools is selected in Preferences, so make sure you click on that first. Let's pick similar tracks and assign them to the same group. Those two tracks play the same chords so it makes sense to treat them as a single track. You can rename groups to see what you're working with. Let's go to Inspector and see what settings are available. Here, you can check editing, volume, pan, solo and other features to control them simultaneously on both tracks. Now if I adjust pan knob on one track, it mirrors it to all the included tracks in this group, 
same goes with the volume. And if you check the editing in settings, you can edit both tracks at the same time. Now you know how to use Mixer. Subscribe for more videos and leave your questions in the comments.